Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how I smoke fish. I learned this technique about 28 years ago from an Alaskan charter boat captain and I've been using this technique ever since. Let's get started by making the brine. I have two quarts of water here and I have kosher salt and I have brown sugar. The basic recipe for my brine is to one quart of water one quarter cup of kosher salt or sea salt and one quarter cup of brown sugar. Since I have two quarts, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a half cup. So this is a quarter cup. This is another quarter cup. Of course, you can adjust the, the recipe to make it saltier or sweeter. I personally like it on the salty side, but this one's gonna be a little bit on the sweeter side. Once you have the brown sugar and the salt and the water, go ahead and mix those together until everything gets dissolved. It helps if you put tepid water to start so that it dissolves a little bit easier. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that everything is dissolved. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add this into this container. So this is a total of six quarts. All right, the next step in the process is to add the fish. We're gonna be doing these beautiful yellowfin bellies that our friend gave us. So I'll just go ahead and cut these open and then add them to the brine. This is a little bit on the bigger side, but I'm gonna add this whole piece in because it's gonna reduce by about 30% after it's dried and smoked. So I'll add a piece like that in whole. A piece like this though is a little bit too big. So with this, I'll probably cut it in half. And here you see all this beautiful fish that we're gonna be smoking today. Some other fish that I like smoking are salmon. It's always a, a favorite of ours. Uh, Pacific Barracuda uh, is plentiful here in our area, so we like to do that because it's, since it has such a long body, the Barracuda has that long belly, so there's a lot of fat in that in those sections of the fillet. All right, let's go ahead and add these fish in. All right, there you see the fish in the marinade. This container will go in the fridge overnight and I'll take it out first thing in the morning, rinse it all off, and then place it into a drying box. The fish has been marinating in the brine overnight. So I'm going to rinse off these pieces and take it out to the drying box. Before I start rinsing, uh, the first thing I like to do is just remove the brine from experience. It's not fun to take these fish pieces out of this brine, which is very cold. So learn to take out the brine first. It makes it easier on your hands. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off these pieces and place them in this colander so that they can drain. So I'm just rinsing off the brine from the exterior of these pieces. But of course, the brine has made its way inside the fish. I'm outside now and we're gonna go ahead and dry the fish. But before we put the fish in, let me show you my drying box. So we have a screen on one end, uh, some hinges over here and a latch that allows me to open this. And you see where the racks go. On the other end, I have a screen. So that allows the air from the fan to flow straight through. And that will dry out the fish a little faster. And I think this is a really important step because as that fish uh, reduces in size, it will 
increase the concentration of the brine inside of the fish, making it really nice and salty and sweet. All right, so here you see the uh, fish pieces on the rack, and I've um, allowed some space in between the pieces so as the air from the fan blows through, it can get all the different surfaces. I'm gonna go ahead and place this inside the rack now. And go ahead and continue on with the next rack. All right, here you see the fish all stacked up in there. Uh, the fish is loaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this rack in and close the door. Turn the fan up and turn this on. This fish will stay in here for about three to four hours, depending on um, how it's looking. And what I'm doing is uh, drawing the moisture out with the fan. And what will happen over time is something called the pellicle will develop on the surface of the fish, which is a, like a shiny, glossy uh, skin, so to speak. And that's what gives the fish its shine. And that's what the smoke actually sticks to or adheres to. So I think this is a really important step, as I said earlier, because that salt and sugar from the brine will become more intense and it'll get locked in with that pellicle. Okay, it's been about five and a half hours. I went a little longer on this because the uh, ambient temperature is kind of low. It's, it's a cool day here today. So I'm gonna turn this off. This took a little longer to dry than normal because of the temperature being a little bit on the cooler side. But if I pull this out, you'll see that uh, the surface has kind of a sheen to it. It's a little bit on the tacky side, okay? But it's not wet. And that's what the smoke is gonna stick to. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to the smoker. All right, today we're gonna be doing some hot smoking and I do have a water pan, so there's gonna be uh, moisture inside the chamber. Uh, I have a stand-up smoker, as you can see, uh, down here, uh, right above the heat source are hickory wood chips, so I am smoking with hickory today. Above this, I have a, a um, cast iron uh, heat shield. And then above that, the water pan. I'll be placing the fish on these racks here. Above, I do have a temperature probe, and I also have a thermometer on the door. They match up usually pretty closely. And I have my uh, monitor there for the, the temperature. Okay, so I have oiled these uh, racks because I am going skin side down, and unless I oil the racks, they will stick. So let's go ahead and get this fish placed into the smoke. Okay, we were able to get all the fish in there. Uh, so we're ready to close the door. Again, we want the temperature between 180 and about 200, no higher than 210. So let's go ahead and close the door and get this started. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the fish. Oh yeah, nice color on those. Let's take a look down here. I'm gonna feel those, they feel like they're ready to go. They're firm with a little bit of give. And these are the bigger pieces down here. And yeah, these are feeling really good too. Okay, let's go ahead and take these out. Now you'll notice that um, there are fewer up here and down here because I took out some of the smaller pieces about an hour ago. Okay, I'm using the drying box that I used earlier in the process to cool them off 
And what's nice about this box is that it has this screen door that keeps the flies off the fish while it cools. So as you can see, these fish have really nice color. So I'll let these cool and uh, I think we'll refrigerate them and bag them up tomorrow with uh, the food saver. It's been about 24 hours since I started the process of making this smoked fish. So as you can tell, it's very time consuming, but it's well worth the effort. If you have any questions about what I've done in this video, please don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email at the address at the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching.